In this video, I'd like to show you how to locate the bowler's positive axis point, or PAP. In the best case scenario, you would have the bowler bowl in fresh oil and use the oil marks on the ball that are the heaviest. That's where the ball would like to roll. In this case, I'm going to use the white mark that I've put on the ball to indicate the track. If the ball has a lot of flare, as this ball does, if you have a lot of flare, it's hard to tell maybe where this should be. That's why using lane oil is the best case scenario. Do not assume that the track should be closest to the fingers. That is incorrect in most cases. After you've located the natural track, place the ball in the cradle and position it in such a way that the track reads the same on all four wings. Make sure that it's the same on all four wings and not just two. With the ball in that position, we can now mark the ball. Which indicates the bowler's positive axis point, or PAP. After you've located the PAP, now it's time to determine the horizontal and vertical distances from the center of grip to the PAP. So I'm going to do a quick layout of the ball. To find the center of grip. center line and the midline we need to know the horizontal and vertical distances from the center of grip to the PAP. Now what I'm going to do now is to rotate the ball so that this midline stays in line with the two wings and rotate it until the PAP is up against the arc maker. This distance is the horizontal distance to the PAP and this distance is the vertical distance to the PAP.